is Chris from Extra Fame. So today I want to show you the Ramos K2, so the newest budget tablet from Ramos. So this tablet is running on Android 4.22 and has a MediaTek MT8389 processor with a resolution of 1024 by 768, two cameras on it, and it's a quad core processor, okay? So let's see together you know, how it is first. So here we can have access to quick specifications on the go. So as you can see, Ramos K2, uh, 7.85 uh, IPS screen. The resolution I told you 1024 by 768. So a Cortex uh, quad core, Android 4.22, one gigabyte of RAM, two cameras, two megapixels and five megapixels. And it's a 3G tablet, which is WCDMA, and you have Wi-Fi as well. So that's it. So as you can see, this is the, the packaging, all blue. So now we can just open the box and see what's going on inside them. So we have the tablet here, as you can see. So we will get back to it very, very soon. Otherwise, we have two extra boxes. So in one in the side and one in the middle here. So I will show you what is inside. So first we have actually a USB cable, micro USB, USB as you can see here. Then we also have a charger, USB charger. Okay. So this is a, an American plug, uh, but uh, we can provide you with the UK and the EU plug. You just have to to choose the right one when you check out on our website. Okay. So that's it for the for the side box. And here, otherwise, we do have this little little box. So if we open it, we do have some papers. So this is a QA pass from the factory, so a certificate saying that everything was correct. And otherwise, we have the warranty cards and the usual manual. So everything is in Chinese, but if you have any trouble, no worries, you can just contact us and we will help you sort out any kind of troubles, okay? All right, so that's it for, for the inside of the box, basically. So let's have a look, closer look at the tablet itself. So here we are, so this is a tablet, so Ramos. So as you can see, this is a metal housing. So we can take off just to show you, as you can see. So very, very solid and beautiful. And on the front, uh, so we have here two speakers on the front, as you can see. Okay, here we have a five meg uh, two megapixels camera on the front as well, and otherwise on the side. So we have here the SIM card slot, and in the pin to take it out. We have the volume button here on the side, the power button on the top, with here the camera, five megapixels camera. microphone, the 3.5 mm jack and that's it, okay? and the USB snap, okay? so that's that's for the tablet itself so so basically uh, this is a 373 grams tablet and the dimensions are uh, 206 millimeters by 138 millimeters and 7.8 millimeters thick okay so that's what you get so all right so now what I propose to you is to to get started and to to turn on this tablet okay it's turning on
Okay, so here we go. So, so we can right away set up the brightness to the maximum, like that we will see what is going on exactly in this review. So if we have here a look at the toggle, so we can see we have the, um, the level of battery, the settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data connection, data usage, airplane mode, brightness, timeout and auto rotation right away for quick access. So we can go first have a look at the, at the menu itself. So as you can see, you can put some widgets. So this is Android 4.22. So we have like a lot of different applications. So we will get rid of every Chinese uh, applications. No problem about that. So as you can see, we do have the Play Store. We do have some tools, for example, like Gmail, the clock, downloads and the maps. Um, we have the settings, direct access to the Wi-Fi, flash player setting, app installer, video player, so we have like uh, plenty of different applications without any trouble. So now what I want to, to show you is the settings right away. So SIM management because this is a WCDMA uh, 3G version tablet. Okay, no problem on it. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, usage, as I say, so the sound, the display, we can have a look here. So you can set up the screen notifications. The storage, as we can see here, what is available basically, it's um, 10 gigabytes available and 1.56 gigabytes, so it's like around 4 gigabytes you know, already taken uh, from the 16 gigabytes available on this tablet, okay? So then the battery, I didn't say anything yet, so this is a 5500 mAh battery which will allow you to, to work for a few hours, maybe around six, eight hours, depending on what, what you're doing, obviously. So location access, uh, security languages. So let, let's check what kind of languages we do have. So you can check. We have a long list with the main languages on it. So Google, because of course I show you the Google Play Store, so you can have your Google account ready. Date, time, accessibility developer options for people. And here we can actually check this is really Android 4.22 Jelly Bean, okay? So we can come back. So that's it basically. So that was for the, the, the quick, quick stuff. So here you can see if I if I hold my fingers on the screen, I can have access to the widgets, the wallpapers, and about the lounger. Okay, that was just to to show you quickly. So now what I what I propose to you is actually to launch Antutu X Benchmark, which allows you to to test the performances of of this tablet of your device, and uh, for that you know you got a score after the, this battery of of tests. So here we got twelve thousand six hundred ninety four. So we can have a look at the ranking in the bar charts, and so we are below below the the Redmi basically. So it's not a high score for a tablet, but please bear in mind this is a budget tablet, of course. So you need some trade-off. So let's let's understand why this, this score is a bit below the the actual devices. So we have Android 4.22, the MTK 8389 ARM Cortex A7. So the graphic processor is a PowerVR SGX 544 MP, resolution of 1024 by 768. Uh, this tablet is not routed, we will confirm that later. So I told you so this is a 1 gigabyte of RAM in the middle here, and otherwise altogether 16 gigabytes, but around maybe 12 gigabytes free, okay? So quad core processor clocked at 1.2 gigahertz um, with the MTK 839 okay? So the, it's a 7.85 inches screen, IPS screen, and the, the, the density is uh, 160 dpi, okay? So dual cameras, 5 megapixels on the back and 2 megapixels on the front with the ability of uh, HD recording 1080p, okay? So, 
Then 373 uh, grams, as I told you. GPS on it, so we do have the GPS, Wi Fi, and only one sensor on it, which is the acceleration sensor. Okay, so that, that's for the, the specifications of this device. So now I want to confirm actually the, the root access. So we have this application that you can launch, and we can see here sorry, this device does not have proper root access. So, what does it mean for you basically? It means that this tablet is not rooted yet so if you want to install a custom RAM, custom Android version on it you will first have to root your tablet so you will lose the warranty if you root your tablet just bear that in mind please okay so that's it uh, so we had a look at the roots at the specifications and uh, now what I want to show is actually the multi-touch so we can just drop the tablet here and we can touch the screen if I put all my fingers all together we got recognized touches 5 so this is basically a 5 touch IPS screen okay so now we can come back and uh, and we can have a look actually at the, at the video how it renders in it and the sound how powerful it is okay so for that actually um, I've been downloading uh, a video for you, so we can have a look directly at the gallery. So this is a GoPro video, HD video, so we can have a look and see what's going on when we launch it. So let's turn on the sound to the maximum, and let's see how it renders. So we can right away check the angles. So as you can see, the auto rotation is working very well. There's no problem on it. The quality is very, very nice. So we'll, it will handle uh, HD videos playback very, very well. No problem on that. You don't have to worry anything about it. You will enjoy watching movies. So we can have a look a bit further to see. It. And the sound with the stereo front speakers makes it very very nice, it's very powerful I really feel right away in the middle of this sound you can probably hear it, it's pretty powerful for such a small tablet and the bass are really well balanced you can see no problem at all Okay, so we can come back and um, so now what I want to show you is actually the, the, the camera itself so we can just take a picture out of it Okay, so we can go to the picture and let's see how about the resolution so we have a resolution which allows us to see quite well the details anyway as you can see all right so this is what you will get basically she's not too bad all right basically now you have you already had a look at everything so now what I propose to you is actually to test the, the gaming uh, performances, you know, how you experience gaming on this tablet. So for that, we downloaded uh, an APP on the Play Store, which is called Asphalt 8, which is uh, one of the latest racing games uh, available, and usually requests quite a, a lot of graphics. So we will see how it goes on this tablet. So we can launch one race and see how it goes. I 
Obviously the acceler accelerometer is nice. It's no problem. So as you can see it's not as smooth as it should be and as it is on other tablets of smartphones but you will still be able to, to play a bit but just to let you know that this tablet is not obviously for gaming but you can still handle few games okay It is just smooth enough to experience it, okay? Okay, so we can come back and, uh, and that's it basically. So, so to, to make a quick summary about this tablet, so this is the Ramos K2, so one of the latest budget uh, to a very cheap tablet from, from Ramos. Running Android 4.22, uh, 1.2 GHz quad core with the M MediaTek A3 and 9. The, the graphic processor is a PowerVR SGX 544MP. Tablet is non rooted, uh, 373 grams, 5500 mAh battery. IPS screen, 5 touch IPS screen, metal housing on the back here. As you can see, stereo front speaker, front speaker, sorry, GPS, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, WCDMA 3G, one gig of RAM and 16 gigabytes of ROM, acceleration sensor, and can handle the videos very well. However, no micro HDMI port on it, so please bear that in mind. So basically, this tablet is perfect for uh, for budget people who wants. A cheap cheap tablet which has 3G, so which is perfect on the go, 7.85 inches, so very portative, no problem about that, okay? So that's it for, for the Ramos K2, that was just to, to show you how it is on this tablet. So if you, if you like this tablet or if you want to get more information, please visit our website at www.electrofame.com or click on the link um, on the top left corner of this video. Uh, if you need any more information, feel free just to leave a comment below this video and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And until then, I hope you enjoy it and see you later for the next review then. Bye bye!